I can hear them. I can hear them calling. I can hear the little slimy wapows. The slimy wahoos. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen it. You actually may recognize some of the voices as it, as it uh, plays during the opening. But let's do it, everybody. Slime Rancher time. Well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Failboat's YouTube. Sorry if you heard the background conflicting with the music from the opening. It was time for a little bit of Slime Rancher. The most chill game on the channel. But not always the most chill, because sometimes I spark up some pretty heated debates in chat. The favorite one being white chocolate versus dark chocolate. Which I'm, I'm not going to get into right now. I just want to give you guys an idea of what, you know, what these conversations are like. Also, yes, I do have, indeed have to update the stream title. Let me do that real fast before I forget. Bam, bam. Okay, cool. Done, 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 done. All right. So what's going on today? We got some Slime Rancher. This delightfully beautiful, gelatinous, cutesy little game. If you guys haven't seen it before. If you guys haven't seen it before. Pretty much this is how Slime Rancher works. Uh... You feed these little guys food. Various food that you will grow in various areas, such as these berries I have over here. After you collect the slimes, you can put them in these little corrals. You feed them, and they produce these little plorts. They're, you know, poop. Pretty much power poop that you can use to, uh, to fuel various, or not very, uh, to, to pretty much gain money. You absorb them all into a big vacuum cleaner. You situate them in their little corrals, make them happy, give them plushes, give them music, give them food. Give them all the things that they would need to be happy. Little members of society, give them a Nintendo Switch. If I only could, I would. And then sell their poop for money. And that, that that's the style of the game. It's a nice chill game. And I like talking with people a lot during the stream. I like looking over at the chat and pretty much giving you guys things to talk about if I don't already have a, a topic up for discussion. So, uh, have no worries. But don't worry. There's a thing that's happened in this recent update. There's a new addition to the game. So, as you could probably imagine, this game has a lot of... menial labor being, I believe, the correct word. Pretty much just a lot of activities where you gotta be constantly running around and doing things and taking care of things. I've already fed all the slimes just before the stream started. Um... But, at the end of the day, there's a lot of activity that you need to do between running to different corrals and getting people active and all that stuff. What we're going to do, what we're going to do, is do the first ever, or at least my first ever, drone. The new thing that came into this update recently. I've bought some ahead of time, and I have some prepped for this part of the stream. Now, my question is, where should I put it? Because we have our basketball hoop, I like that. Let's put the first drone right here. Our first little drone boy. Look at these guys. I want you to look how cute these guys are. Look at him sleep. Oh, it's too bad you can you have like the constant reflection on his face. Look at him sleep. Oh, it's so cute. So how does how do these work? I don't know. I haven't actually seen them yet. So I believe what they do is it can automate part of the of your ranch. I don't know how they work, but we're gonna be figuring that out right now. Um, I think what we should do. What should we have this guy do? Let's do, let's have this guy run a simple task. These things very often get filled up with plorts. So what if we did this? What if we did this? Target plorts. The source will be from corrals, and destination will be the plort market. Is it specific or like... Oh, he's on! He's active! Oh, and he's a good boy! Oh, and he's a good boy! Oh, look at him! Oh, he's picking up all the plorts! Oh, he has it in his little butt! <gasps> look at him go! Look at him go! Oh, excuse me, excuse me, beep beep. They're on a mission. I don't know where they are, but they're on a mission. 
They're gonna come out this side at some point. Maybe? I don't know, I've lost. Oh, there they are, there they are, there they are. Look at this adorable little automatron. I want one of these for my real life. Wow, and they're, they're, I mean, they're doing it efficiently, too. They're not going one by one. They're, they're doing it a couple, a couple at a time there. They're probably going to be a little bit in here. But you know what? We can actually work with them. While they're doing this, I'll do this. So I guess what I really appreciate is that there aren't super niche. They actually... Look, look at them getting like, turned around in the, in the, with all the slimes in there. That's funny. So that's interesting. So they aren't just one type of port going to one type of destination or, or going to one type of thing kind of a thing. I know I said a lot of things there. But like I, I guess they'll pick up like like a bunch of different types of ports, not just one. Which is a really important thing there. That's so cool. I don't want to put googly eyes on the drone because they actually have custom eyes. I don't want to like hide the eyes right now since I'm not used to seeing them. Where are they? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Oh, there they are. There you are. There you are. So I guess he's going over here now? He's grabbing some of the spare ones? Oh, he's grabbing the ones from over here. Of course he would. Oh, there you go. There you go. Beep. There you go. Beep. Look at them. Look at them go. And then just goes over here, does the job, just poops it all in. I feel like interrupted. No, I can't, but I'll gain it passively. Woohoohoo! Look at him go! Oh, you have two per ranch expansion. Oh, no, that makes perfect sense, though. So now what will you do? Oh, that's adorable! So, do they activate passively? Hold on, I gotta experiment for a second here. Like, what happens if you guys get fed and ports like, get created? What happens then? Perhaps they just straight up need to be activated? He's hydro- No, 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 see, he goes, he goes. He just does. Maybe because I think we modified it so he's like freaked out. That's adorable, that animation is so perfect. Props to the devs for making that perfect animation. So I guess they don't pick it from there. Oh, they are hydro powered. Weird, but useful. Huh. Target ports. And you can set specific ports so if you wanted to. So I guess you can't get them from the collectors. Wait, no, the source. Outside plots? Oh! Oh, I get it! Ah! I get it! Thank you, chat. Look at him go, look at him go. Oh, this is so efficient. And he's happy, and he's happy. Boop. But does he do it with all of them? Well, it definitely goes back and forth to make sure he didn't miss any. I just want to make sure that he does it with, um, With uh, the rock ones too. I mean, he probably will, but I just want to see it. 
This is so cool. It will definitely help my automation. But now I wonder, like, what should I do? If they're doing all of this, it's not like I, they can fully automate the ranch. Because they can only do one or two things. I can only have two tasks like this running. So if one is a plort collector, and one is a, like, a feeder... Maybe those are the two tasks that I can use to, like, make this work? Although I do have to constantly, like, water- Can I, like, water the base? I can! And I wonder if it's- if, if their, like, health is displayed by, uh... By some sort of graphic there, because they themselves don't seem to be too effect- too, like, affected. Interesting. I'm getting, I'm, I'm understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding. It's taking a little bit, but I'm understanding. Um, okay. So, we have veggies over there, or fruits over there, veggies over there. What if we had one more? And I'll put them over here, since this is sort of where the veggies already are. Drone install. Whoops. Uh. Oh, you can rotate them. Oh, nifty. I had no idea you could do that. No idea. That's extremely useful. All right. Uh, what was, what was my button again? T? Yeah, okay. All right. So what do you do? So... Aha! So we do have to pick between fruits and veggies. Interesting. 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 So in that case, you know what? Hold on, veggies from gardens with the destination being incinerators, uh, being the auto feeders. In that case, you know what? Forget about growing these guys, because these are fruit. If it's going to be more efficient to just have veggies in here, it will be way better to just get rid of this now. Oh, the last pogo fruit. I had these stu these things here since the very beginning. But that's okay. We'll just change the vegetable. We'll just change the thing. Eat up, guys. Last, last, last batch of uh, pogo fruit. At least that we'll be using. That way, these guys can be auto-fed. What I'll do, I won't tear it up by the roots. I'll just wait until it, like, naturally despawns and then replace it with veggies later on. Wonder. Don't know. Still don't know. Okay, then. Neat. Neat. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> uh, so, I guess when this guy spawns... Wait, actually, let me, let me, like, test. Let me test him. Uh, bam. Yeah, there they go! Thank you for the work. Anone, Anone, Anone. Oh, they're adorable. And then they put it back. I love it. The, uh, they don't despawn anymore. Oh, apparently gardens don't despawn. Oh, really? That's why that's happening. I was noticing it was sort of going on indefinitely. Well, how about what we do? is whoops sorry buddy <laughs> let's just not hmm i guess for now we just grow more of these like we were on no shortage of them so what we'll do we'll just grow two of these over here this game is like really fun by the way if you guys haven't played this it's really good uh remove crops right did i do it correct Remove crops? Oh, I have to purchase it. Right. Got yeah. And then, bam. And then very similarly, remove crops and bam. And then anything else we could do here? A speedy mix creates increase or er, greatly increases the time it takes for ripe roots and ready to plot so long as they are touching the garden soil. Aha! 
I actually think that's fine though because we're gonna have automated ones so I'm not really too worried about that plus I'm like pretty vigilant about like keeping to that so here how about this how about this how about this on a night on a night on a night uh cells at work um let's let's try this let's see if he activates from all the way over there <laughs> I love their little get up it's so adorable so is that, did this like fully automate this area That would be so useful. This is on PC, by the way. I'm playing this on PC. Yeah, look at it. It fully is automated. Oh, dude. I love that, man. All right. Well, let's let's think about like what else can we what else can we automate? We got a bunch of these guys. Um What are some useful things to automate? Collecting these guys would be a nice, like, like money booster. But I think, okay, hear me out. These guys down here, I never get to since they're so far out of the way. And there are so many ports around that it's obnoxious to collect. So what if our little friends here were to help us out? Hello, buddy. All right, target, ports, source, outside ports, I guess, technically, destination, port market. How will this work? Hmm. Is this correct? I was about to say, maybe they can't get to the port market. Hmm. Because, like, there's not one in this area. In that case, I think we have to build a market link. I was wondering if it would run them all the way over, but I, I, uh... I was gonna say. I just wanted to do some experimentation. In that case, let me just run over that chicken real fast. Let's make a market link. Because that will be a great way to passively get some money. Because those sell for a lot comparatively to the rest of the stuff in that case here um what do i do for the market link i think market link is over in here and then oh you guys are doing good here let me just quickly get these guys going too i think i've actually never mind i don't think i need to get these guys going i think these guys are well and filled up on food like these guys will be set for a while no need to automate these guys back here if anything we might need to automate the plorts because they're eating so much even on the like the lowest setting um here what we need to do bam not med station not teleporter is it this hmm utility warp tech this seems right oh yeah here we are here market link refinery link oh right yeah no no we're going for the market link um oh we need one more hexacomb Oh, where where do I get hexacombs again? I believe that's apiaries, if I'm not mistaken. And we got plenty of things for that. Let's get some apiaries. Um, let's do a advanced apiary. Fabricate a couple of those. Let's get three. Cause I don't use apiaries too much, but it's 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 nice to have a couple of them up and around. Uh, so yeah. So if you guys haven't seen too much of this world, I'm about to show you a lot more of it. So pretty much in this delightful little world, it's not just the farm. There is actually a small little, well, it's not really that small. It's, I call it small because I'm used to it. Also, I love how the radiated quartz sometimes, plorts sometimes land all the way out here. Um, but, which is probably not great for the environment, but eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, but it's this cute little environment that you can explore and unlock more areas of as you uh, unlock more areas of the game. I haven't unlocked everything. I think I'm... <gasps> Luckily, I have a mint mango. Golden slime. Eat. Eat, my child. Yes. That's a rare guy. He's not rare like a shiny Pokemon, but he's uncommon. Hey, let's go, though. Luckily, I, kept, I, I had the, those mangoes with me. 
Oh god, and here comes the, uh, the 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 old chain of is it mango or mongo? I know it's mango. But for some reason in this game I call them mongos. No idea why. I just start all of a sudden. Beats me, man. Um What I come down here to do? I came down here to do something. Oh right, the apiary. Right, right. So pretty much what we gotta do is we gotta run all the way over here. And by the way, in case you're wondering how I'm doing those quick little sections of floating. Uh, there's a, there is a jetpack upgrade you can buy in this game. I have to explain this game a little bit for the people who haven't seen it, because understandably, like, this game is not deluxely popular. It, it, it's fairly popular, but I understand it's not like Cuphead, where everyone knows it. Um, it was actually nominated for, I believe, best indie game, uh, at, uh, at the Game Awards, or not the Game Awards, at, um... Uh, or is it the Game Awards? I forget. Like, like, like the big, the big thing where, or where, 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 like, Breath of the Wild won Game of the Year. I forget what, the, like, the, the, what that's called, but it maybe it's just called the Game Awards. I'm not sure. But, uh, woo! Slide on down here, or more like just, like, fall down here. Uh, and then, Apiary Boys. Uh, install one of these. Install one of, E3, thank you. One of these, and install one of these. Perfect. Now in 11 hours, those will be, or 12 hours, those will be active and ready for the plucking. I think what would be useful, oh, hey, get out of here, Tar. Get out of here, Tar. I don't need any of you. Thank you very much. What I'm going to be doing is, hmm. I am going to sleep, actually. <laughs> Not in real life, by the way. I'm, go I'm going to sleep in the game. Uh, that way we can actually, wait a minute. I haven't unlocked this area yet, and we have an extra key. I was wondering what this is for. Yeah. Oh, it's a quick way to get over here. Oh, that's useful. The <laughs> sleep stream sounds good to me, man. Oh, dude, this is a fast way to get to this area. This area is really cool. Um, <clears throat> if you guys ever had never checked out the quantum slime things, dude, this update, man, threw me for a loop. I love it. IRL sleep stream. I mean, that's pretty much what these are already. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Like, dude, I love slime rancher streams. People don't appreciate them, man. They, they are extremely fun. All right, let's not jump down because I don't want to get too lost here. I just wanted to look around a little bit. I think I do have a teleporter a little bit deeper in here, but I don't want to worry about that right now. I'd rather just walk over, walk back and around. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, what do you guys think of this game? If you guys have played it, or you know what? No, 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 no. Redoing that question. For the people who haven't played this game and are just now seeing it for the first time, what do you guys think of it? Seems like something you pick up for yourself. I think it's $15. I've put in a lot of time into this game is all I'm saying. This has been well worth my 15. Oh, actually, we've gone out the uh, the other exit. I don't want to go out this way. I don't want to go in this way. It's Sonic Boom. I completely disagree. Pretty cool. Good. Oh, I've played it. Yeah, sorry. I had to, like, redo the question. I think we got in this way, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think it was this one. You should stream it more. I totally will. This would be a good sponsor stream. Or a good sponsor game. Just because it's, it's nice and chill. I can relax to it a lot more. Like, I can actually take a break in talking. And this one. Whoa! Whoa! Shaky cat boy! Y'all okay, my dude? Eesh. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Alright. Up here. Up here. I don't know, man. I just had a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun memories with this game. I've actually, now that I think about it, I've probably been playing this game for like a full year, if not more. Could someone do me a quick favor who is on like a, like a PC or something? Could someone go back and search Slime Rancher on my on my channel? Um, first episode would be on the main channel because it was before I, I, I separated the uh, the stream channel in the in the normal channel. I think it was called Everything is Adorable. It's just a big pink face. 
This is back where I need to be? This is back where I need to be. Perfect. There we go. Uh, and then... Uh, August 2nd, 2017. That sounds correct. August 2nd. So, well, actually... We're coming up on our uh, on our anniversary. Wait, really? Wait, February twenty second. Apparently, I'm being told. I'm seeing more people saying February twenty second. Well, in that case, that seems a little bit more accurate. Because I would have played that for fairly longer time. Sleep until morning. There we go. Plenty of rest. Everything's going to be burning. Pretty much when you sleep in this game, it's like a chaos rush. Like, everything is grown. Everything is, is active. Like, everything is everything. But luckily, these guys will help in this area. So that way I have less to do. And then I can get back to work a lot, lot faster. I'll look at the rewards club uh, after. What I'm going to do in the meantime, I got to make sure of a couple things. So, probably one of the things I would love to automate. Oh my god, so many carrots! And see the best thing, the best thing. Even though I have this many carrots, and, and like, I literally just carelessly vacuumed up 60 of them. I guarantee these guys still have, like, a bunch of carrots, like, in the like in their remaining thing. No, actually, less carrots than I thought, honestly. There we go. Well, we can at least deal with that real fast. Yeah, these guys don't, these guys go through carrots at a very slow rate. And mainly because I get so many carrots. Am I like never worried about their food? In contrast, I need to learn how to use coops. Because I don't understand coops. And because of it, these guys suffer in the food quantities. Like these guys, I feel, are almost always low on hen hens. And I would like to resolve that one day. And maybe that's, that's, that's best done with, uh, with automation. Um, I've already done that guy. What I kind of want to do, honestly, is run out to where I just was and get these apiaries going. I forgot I could just take that teleporter. Very convenient. Also, here's the map in case anyone wants to see what's going on with the world. And that, ha that hasn't seen it before. This is what the map looks like. It's very nice. This is the old time map. The, the place we're in. Pretty much there's an area where we can actually travel back into time. Or at least in this game's time lore. It's very nice. But yeah, no, there's actually a map in this game. I never open it up. Never open up the map. Because by the time the map was added, I already understood where I needed to go and already understood the world. So, yeah, there's a map. Occasionally I get lost, but it just takes me no more, no more than usually five minutes to figure out. I don't want to put googly eyes on the drone because then that covers up their eyes and their eyes are so cute already. I don't want to encumber their work at all. Now, if I could ever get like a bow tie or something, that, that, that's that's another story. All right, give me some honeycombs. Mmm, a lot of honey, not a lot of honeycombs. Uh, hopefully I get some. All I need is one. Mmm. I'd rather not sleep again. Hey, came through in the clutch there. We got some hexacombs. Excuse me. Chris X would be mad if you heard me mispronouncing those. There we go. Go up and over here. And we're back on the same journey that we were on just a second ago. Anything in here? Nah, okay. Cool. Let that little pink guy eat up. Uh, still not still not over the reaction of the guy we raided yesterday. Man, raids are so cool. But yeah, by the way, this is pretty much what happens. With, by the way, if you guys are liking what you're seeing... And you guys like, uh, pretty much, if you guys are new to the Slime Rancher streams and you like what you're seeing, I recommend checking out some of my older ones. Right now, I'm very accustomed and familiar to everything that's happening, so my commentary is a lot more chill. But if you're interested in seeing me playing Slime Rancher while not knowing really what's happening, dig up some of the older Slime Rancher streams. I promise you, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're not too different than what you're hearing right now. Yeah. If you guys like what you're seeing, be sure to slap that subscribe button. No, 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 no. Let's just run it back over here, though. Um, you should have gone jutsu. You said bye to fail, test failed. Nah, oh, man. If you guys want to head out, feel free to head out. Oh! I see! 
And it's one shot to, to make it work again? Aha! Very nice! Yeah, 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 one shot is all it takes to, reju to rejuvenate it. How about that? Duly noted. Duly noted. So it does take a... Pretty much it turns like 20 minutes in, in from going to place to place to place to place into just two quick shots. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, that works with me. Also keeps me honest. Make sure it's like not fully automated. Good balancing, honestly. I like that balancing. Um... Then what, what What was I going to do? Right. I, I knew what I was going to do. I have to hop into this teleporter. Wrong one. Uh, and then deposit all you guys. Perfect. Oh, we had poker fruit. Odd. <laughs> Didn't even know we got that. Uh, go over here. And not you guys. I'm looking for a market link. Yeah, there we go. Bam. Oh, it actually uses up one of our royal jellies. Ooh, boy, we shouldn't use too many of those. Because that's how we use, uh, that's how we get these fashion pods. One day, I, sh I want to unlock more fashion pods. I don't get how you do it. Let's also buy this. We have enough money for it. How much, how much is it for the clip-on? Oh, it's, it's, it's another two royal jelly. Too bad, man. Oh, my God, that's a lot of these. Um... You guys are like pretty much all set, but I'll, I'll like, I'll tend to this real fast. Uh, boat, I'm your biggest fan. Huh. I mean, you aren't because my real biggest fan is the one to my right. Who's keeping me, who's keeping me uh, cool right now. No one's as big a fan as he is. Uh, we should also probably run these guys too. Just activate the vacuum. Get these spinny boys out of the way here. I love these guys so much. And by the way, what you guys have been seeing, if you guys are unfamiliar with the game, you've only been seeing the maintenance side of this game, where I'm just running around maintaining things. Like, me setting up all these guys and breeding the, the perfect, beautiful slimes is a whole process of itself. I'm literally playing this right now. It's a super chill game, man. Super chill game. I really do talk up this game a lot, but I, I talk it up because it deserves to be talked up. It's very relaxing. All right, did that. Don't need any of those guys. Uh, what I need to do right now is, oh, actually, you're gonna be using that. Um, I'm not gonna be using, I'm not, like, I don't really have too much need for money right now, so I'm just gonna save these for later. Pretty much, I'm, I'm shooting these into, like, storage, where these will be used for other, other purposes other than straight up just money. There we go. Cause it, like, like pretty much what I was doing before when I was creating the market link is sometimes it draws from not only like the honey, like the hexacombs, but it also draws from like other plort resources and such. So it's important to have a backup of a bunch of different types of plorts. That way you can always have something to rely on if you ever need to craft something. So yeah. But yeah, no, these streams bring up like, like, like a different side of me. It's a very fun side. I don't really play these games ever. So it's, it's nice to relax to it. It's nice to have a game like this to relax to. Especially in the form of streaming, because that way I can talk to you guys. It's not like I'm just straight up wasting time. I am, technically, with my day. But I don't know. I've done what I wanted to do for today. Boop. Interesting that these drain without even being used. I think that's almost better, because now it creates a more consistent way of me knowing uh, when things are, are active and stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, or unactive. Market link. Install. Done? Done and did it. <laughs> He's online. Good boy. And now I guess you're just going to pick up a bunch of these things and uh, start selling them. Oh, dude, that's going to be amazing. That's going to be so amazing. Also, in case you guys are ever psyched out by these explosions, these explosions don't do anything. I'm going to be dead honest with you. They're, they're, they're cute to, to look at, but at the end of the day, they really don't scare me. Also, dude, these guys are, these guys are the fattest slimes on the entire market. Like, I swear, man, these guys constantly have an over-surplus of carrots. What I should do is bring in more of these guys. You know what? Let's make that a little bit of a mission for today. We still got, like, an, like another half hour, hour left in the stream. Let's make it a mission today. Oh, you can actually see the, the, the thing right here. I get it. Perfect. Let's go out and get some more of these guys. They're a little bit hard to come by, but totally worth having here. 
Let's do some. Let's get some. Um, Phil, do you have the monster achievement? I don't know. Do I have the monster? What, 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 what does that require doing? I'm not entirely sure. Um, also, since we've only placed one of those, or since we haven't placed any in here, I really do want these guys to constantly be fed. And it is hard to, it, it's fairly hard to automate the chickens otherwise. So let's do that. Let's give these guys an automated chicken thing. Here, let's actually place it over here if we can. Uh, well, I don't want to place it too far out of the way. Let's place it like over here-ish. Yeah, over here will work because I passed by this area anyway. Um, let's do utility, a drone, and then what is my purpose? Your purpose is going to be getting a bunch of different meat from outside the plorts or outside the, out, like the outside area and putting it into the auto feeders. Yes. This, this makes sense to me. Outside plort. Yes. Perfect. Activate. Let me just make sure he's working. Because there are plenty of them outside plorts, outside of the, the things right now. Huh? 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 I streamed Stardew Valley like once. <laughs> this wasn't for me personally. I know it's like about the same thing. I don't know. This wasn't feeling it. Hmm. What if it's like just straight up exactly hen hens? Outside, pl outside plots into auto feeders? Oh, there we go. He likes that command a little bit more. Oh, dude. And then they all find all like the hidden ones too. And these guys appear like passively. Oh, God. Run, head hens. Run. The robots are after you. Before it was just me. The unattentive me. Now you got a whole army coming after you. A robotic army. Oh, jeez. What I gotta remember though is um I don't come down here often, but I have to just to make sure uh Mr. Robot is working here. I wonder how often those 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 uh stop working. Ideally I would I should make a teleporter to go down here. Since this is like a fair distance away from like the normal spawn. And I don't believe I have all the teleporter spot. It would be more efficient, honestly. It would save me a lot of time. Especially if I have to like do runs. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves a, a teleporter. And keep this automated train going. So I believe I can pop in here. Um, let's see. Pink teleporter. I just do not have enough. Hmm. I don't have enough deep brine or hexacombs. Well, hexacombs will get naturally. Deep brine... That's going to be a little bit more annoying to get. Actually, wait a minute. We can get a blue teleporter for just straight up hexacombs. Oh, perfect. In that case, in our list of things to do, we'll hang on to the teleporter for now. We'll worry about the teleporter a little bit later. Let's work, let's work, let's work on getting those guys I was talking about before. Uh, will you try Kinseed? I have no idea what Kinseed is. Tell me what Kinseed Well, what is Kinseed, chat? I believe... It's been a while. Yes, I believe this is where I can get some of the some of the, the guys I'm looking for. Oh, I love the music here. Whee! Whoopsie. There we go. I believe uh they're sold out. Oh wait, am I dumb? Well, I mean I, I'm already here. I might as well get them. Oh, that's right because I already have two of them. I I already have two teleporters. Oh, it's the blue and the pink one. Duh. I wasn't even thinking about the color. I mean, I, I probably said the color, but I wasn't even thinking about it. Also, we should try and get the water, the sacred water up here. I know what I'm talking about is pretty foreign to slime rancher, or to non-slime rancher players, but trust me. We did. Pretty much, these little bulbs, we can grow by getting some, like, super special water to them. But you only have 30 seconds, or only have 60 seconds to actually get it to them. So it's a little bit of a rush against time. I haven't tried yet, but I, I'm sure I can get it over there. 
But for now, we gotta do a little bit of running. Yeah, what is concede? I'm not gonna stream Hollow Knight. Well, at least probably. I might, if, if it's a sponsor voted game, I will. But like, nah. Hollow Knight seems like a game, if I do get it, will be for me. Just because like, I don't know. I don't have enough games that I play for myself. Like I have games that, hello, well, I, mm, that's awkward. Goodbye, golden, golden buddy. If you don't have any food, you, they just sort of run off. Too bad. Oh, I could have used the key over there. Oh, too bad. That's whatever. What is this? Weird. I wonder what big guy I haven't fed yet. I have to find a big guy to feed in order to, to activate those. Here we go. Let's get all the mosaic boys that we can. There's usually not too many, but we can, we can get a few. There we go. So pretty much here's the other aspect of Slime Rancher. Vacuuming up these guys from their natural habitat and then putting them into the corrals and then breeding them with other types of slimes using plorts or, or combining them with different types of slimes using plorts to uh, increase your total slime count. Hmm. I don't see any any of the other guys. That's okay. We don't need to worry about the um uh, about the other ones. I think this is a this is a fine haul for one for one quick run. We got ten of them. That's a nice new amount of uh, of slimes to worry about. Boop. Stop playing the noises. You make me sad. That I don't have a switch or a game. Well, I'm not doing any cleaning noises. So you know what? You'll be okay. All right, you guys. Before I run that down there, let me look into, the, into these teleporters. So, I believe it's just... I think I have already got all the teleporters. Yeah, sold out. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. What I need to do is buy a new one. The gray and the butterscotch one. Let's buy the gray one. That's the cheapest. Don't know why. Probably just lack of color. Uh, we need more tabby plorts for this one. Interesting. Let's also buy the gold one, or the, the butterscotch one. Bam. And then... Perfect. What do you require? Oh, you require, uh, quantum plorts. Honestly, you're probably better for me to get since quantum plorts are super easy. But yeah, right now we just have to worry about hexacomb. So in that case, let's just walk on over to, uh, to the guy all the way over there. And, uh, just quickly do what we need to do. How, hold on, how are you guys holding up? A little low on water? Let me resolve that real fast. Bam. Hey, you need to be active, I'm just saying. Or maybe you were a little bit tired. Works with me. Either way. Or maybe they were full. Oh, geez. You guys are starting to run out of food. That's good. Well, I mean, not good for you guys, but good for the, the thing. Because right now... Oh, you know what I imagine? It's not doing anything because... You know what? Look, there's only 20 left. What we'll just do is this. Perfect. Feed you guys the last pogo fruit. Then, just manually, quickly set up this guy to start dispensing heartbeats. I'll give like the full, like the full thing. I check every day for streams. I, I stream fairly often. Yeah, we have 400 people watching. That's what—that's wild to me, man. 400 people just chilling out watching this. Ah, that's the dream, man. Thank you guys for supporting what I do. It really is wild to me. Oh, dude, look at this. A nice, clean inventory to work with here. I guess I can only hold 50 at a time. That works for me, though. For fully automated things, that completely works for me. There we go. Uh, and one over here. Perfect. All right. Now, let's run these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome, my boy. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate it. Thank you, Random, for uh, Random and literally all the other Randoms and all the other familiars and everyone else for sticking around. All right, you guys, my radiating, exploding boys. You're all good on food. You need that stuff taken care of. All good. I can clean up your corrals. Make sure you're taken care of. So I guess you are looking good for food. I mean, they're at 38, which is good. There are a couple chickens around. He's probably just taking a break. Yeah, he probably just needs... I, okay, so for the people who understand the robots, do they just take breaks now and again? 
Or is that a glitch? I'm not too worried either way. All right. So here's what's going to happen with these guys. We got 10 of these new crystal boys. And what we got to do, we got to get a bunch of these tangle plorts. We need 10 of them. Specifically. Because we got 10 new guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed them to the ones that are not fully formed big boys. Pretty much there's two types of slimes in these games. We got the, the small boys and the big boys. <clears throat> the big boys are a combination of two different types of, uh, of slimes. And when they're fed, they produce... Actually, hold on. You mad? Oh, you're not even hungry. You're just mad. Interesting. I wonder why. I wonder if I can do anything to remedy that. Yeah, pretty much, we create these combo slimes when they're when they're both fed in a very in a similar manner here. And our goal get as many of these big boys as possible. And as you could probably imagine, when a third uh, larger one is fed here, like like like, like if, if I gave a third combination to one of these guys, like like another variant, then it gets pretty bad. Because then they turn into these things called TARS. And, uh, TARS are not good. TARS are very not good. Because they start to, in, they, they pretty much start to kill off your other various members of the ranch. And, in turn, result in, well, I mean, less members of your ranch. They're not good. Pretty much in this game, you want to have a constant moderation on what slimes are occupying an area. And honestly, they're not too hard to keep track of. As a whole, sometimes some might get by. But overall, like, it's pretty easy to maintain. And bam, let me just make sure you guys are all fueled up. Ah, oh, look at that. Here comes the money, baby. Here comes the money with this little guy here. I think there's one more small boy. There should be one more small boy out and around. I thought. If not, I'm sure he'll he'll eventually make his way to one of those one of those tangle ports. But otherwise, we can just do a quick scout for him. I think he's all good. That works for me, man. Cuz for now, you'll just be picking up everything else. Thank you, my little boy. All right. Let me just make sure you're all fueled up. Perfect. And now, we can't build the teleporter yet. Let's check Hmm, I don't want to check on the apiary just yet. What I'm going to do is... I don't think you can ride the drone, by the way, guys. I do believe the, the drone is unrideable. Make sure you are, you're all fueled up. How, is, how are you doing? Oh, dude, I love this. I never have to worry about those guys again. Perfect. I mean, I have to clean the plorts, but, like, as a whole, that's... A, oh, I almost just shot this randomly. That would have been really bad. Um, Let's do this real fast. Let's actually, you know what? Look, one mosaic port isn't going to cost me too much. Uh, what I do want to do is real fast just empty these guys. Because these guys are getting a little bit filled up. Uh, yes, he had the right idea. The, uh, ride the drone. I don't care that you can't ride it like the wind. What? <laughs> It'd be cool. It's all good. Get the tabby ports for the, for the gray teleporter. Yeah, this is true. I don't really worry too much on whether it's the, the grape teleporter or, or the uh, or the butterscotch teleporter, but it doesn't help to have uh, have yourself prepared. So let's do that. So yeah, these boys are tabbies and um and the raccoon ones, the tabbies and hunters. That's right. <laughs> Shining justice blooming somewhere. I don't know why you started singing that song, senpai, uh, senpai edgy spoon, zero zero one, but I appreciate it. All right. So we got those guys automated. We got the carrots automated. I love that they don't expire anymore. But part of me kind of didn't, didn't mind it. Uh, rad. I guess uranium fever has gone and got them down. <laughs> All right. Let's get you guys. Tabby ports are really useful. Let's sell or let's let's activate or, or let's store the tabby and hunter ports and sell these guys. Because boom plorts and radiator plorts, or radiator plorts, are pretty good. Pretty good selling things. They're usually worth a decent amount. Not anything too crazy, but pretty good. 
There we go. And then... I guess we sleep. Yeah, sleeping seems about pretty good right now. Actually, what I want to check on is the Z Rewards Club. All right. Heart module does not enter. I don't care about the heart module. I literally do not care at all. See you, banana chicken. Um, What I do care about? Uh, I, probably, like, whatever comes next. <laughs> I really don't care too much about the heart modules. They're pretty unimportant in this kind of game. Oh, we got partnership. Uh, a wall? I think we've already done the partnership stuff. Re Africa. Well, I blessed the rains down in Africa, so, uh, sleep until morning. Cool. What I want to do right now... See, like, the cool part about this game is that there always feels like there is something to do. Like, even though... Or rather, okay. It's like a mix, right? There's always something to do. And there's always something that you don't have to do. Like, I don't know, man. Like, there's just a really good balance in this game. Of things to do and in, like, general, like, I'm already done for the day. I, like, I don't have to do this. I don't know. There's just a really good balance. I have heard of Subnautica. I've never played it. All right. Let's see. So, right. So, we can't do that. We can't do that yet because we have to go and get the, um, the, uh, the apiaries. Which, in that case, I can just take the teleport that's over here. Cool. For the apiaries. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need, to get, we need to get the hexacombs. Jump over here. Wait a minute. This is the complete non-area. Not correct area. I forgot about you. I forgot about this area. Oh, goodness. All the kookadabas. Oh, God. I remember that name. Oh, God. We need a bunch of those. But we'll worry about the kookadabas later. Um, did I not take the right area? Oh, no. That's to the new area. I need to take this teleporter, if I'm not mistaken. Right? I think it's this teleporter to get where I'm looking. Yeah, okay, it's this teleporter. What is this place? I've never seen it before. That was in the new update. Or, the, not the newest update, but like one of the new updates. Actually, that entire area I haven't explored before yet. What we should do is we should get this teleporter up and running. Then let's take a look and take a look at that new area. See if we can get some more Kukudabas and then end it there. yeah i'm on day 200 plus oh wait a minute yo we're almost on day 100 that's actually that's that's hype i've never hit a day 100 in this game before yeah you got one more thing to do one more cycle awesome oh dude let's go man nothing too rare i will take the hexacombs though hexacombs are useful Man, the thing that I've been playing this game for a hundred in-game days. That's wild, man. I think each day is 20 minutes. Of course, I, I do sleep now and again in-game. In but overall, I could check my Steam time for how long I've had this game like running. I'm sure there might be a couple hours where I'm sleeping and I had it open. I doubt it, though. I'm pretty good about closing games. I wonder, man. How long have I had this game running for? I wonder if anything special happens on day 100. Probably not. Maybe you get like an achievement or something. That's all I need. All right. We got the hexacombs. So I got what I need. Let's run it back here. Get this done. Um, here, store these guys. Perfect. Pop in this boy. I don't want the stream dead. Well, luckily it won't. Not for a while. Uh, we already got those. Whatever. Cool. What I need are you. Uh, let's take the... Uh, no, let's do the great teleporter. I'll save the butt. Oh, dude. The butterscotch one has like a, has like a Hylian symbol in it. Cool. Yeah, let's do the butterscotch teleporter, or the, the gray teleporter for now. Alright. So, I'm going to put the teleporter for it over here, since it, like, sort of makes sense. Moving a little bit more over this way. There we go. Gray teleporter. Install one. And then... Should wait a minute. No, okay. 
I guess there's a teleporter back in that other area. Weird. Okay. Um, teleporter one, and then let's put the teleporter over here, actually. Oh, I thought there was an area over there. That's okay. We'll put the teleporter right here. I don't think they can go through the teleporter. That'd be awkward. Can they? Hold on. No, they cannot. Luckily, it's just me. No objects either, right? Perfect. Perfect. I do like how they get cut in like the, the net the netting over there. There we go. <laughs> They're so happy. They're like, whoa! <laughs> Dude, I love when I like bop a slime with like a port. They're like, whoa! <laughs> they have like such a troubled look on their face for a second. Man. Oh, this game is so cute. Alright, let me heal that back up. Hop in the teleporter. Hey! Maximum efficiency, baby! Poggers! Progress poggers. Alright, you know what I'm doing? For day 100, I, ref I gotta pick up a little bit. Look, I've had this issue for a while. For one day, or uh, not for one day, um, I pretty much had a really nice looking entryway that I butchered one day. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix it. Nope. There we go. Let's just clean up this area a little bit, you know? Make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, Let's do... Okay, so what was our pattern? We have green echoes and we have blue echoes. So I think we had, like, one in the middle. So here's the key. Find a, a, a position and don't move. A little bit over to the left. Okay, green there. Here's the hard part. Creating perfection. Luckily, they move around enough, so it's, it's a little bit hard to notice if it's off a little bit. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. There we go. And then... Put two there. There we go. There we go. Oh wow, this 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 one went far off. Oh, goodness. All right, let's put this guy like right there then. A little off. There. There we go. There we go. We got some nice going. How's it going, buddy? Have a good day. All right. Now this is where it gets a little bit tough. This is where it gets a little bit tough. Put one right above those. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Not a fan of either of those two, honestly. I kind of like what we got going there. Hmm. How about we put these on the outside? What if we had like two blue and two green or something? I don't mind that. Fortunately, I don't think we can get it perfect. Because of this guy. That's okay, we can adjust this side. I love how chill these streams are, oh my god. It's so relaxing. I was thinking about doing a slime rancher, but funny stuff happens for for like a while now. Hey! That's like directly above each other. Slightly off. Oh god, here it comes. True OCD activated. Yeah! I like that. I like that. And then these two can go like bam and bam. Now all I have to do is never right click anywhere. Ever again. A little bit closer. 
What a live stream, am I right, chat? Bibble carefully places lights. Eh. Yeah. It isn't perfect, but you know what? I'm satisfied. After moving this one a little bit more. Over. Too far. Perfection. Achoo! <laughs> that would actually move them. I very carefully aimed before I made that joke. Okay. Hey, there we go! Finally, I cleaned this- I cleaned that up. That took a long time for me to clean it up. I believe also this guy's name is Zapzoop. Could be mistaken. They have no official way to name them. But I believe I named him Zapzoop. Uh... And with that... Is there really anything else we have to do here? We gotta get these guys going. Um... Keep those guys active. These guys run through water fast. <gasps> Wait a minute. Hold on. What? What, Daniel? What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? These boys. These hydro turrets. What if? And I highly doubt it. I have so many things. Oh, my God. I don't, think I, actually, I don't even think I have any areas over here. Throw a chicken do into an incinerator. I've actually never built an incinerator. People are saying it won't work. Okay. Hydro turrets are bad. But you know what? I mean, I might as well try it. Look, it's... I'm not going to be too upset if I buy a spare Hydro Turret. Man, I remember when I unlocked this area for the first time. Ah. Alright. I wonder what else we can buy. Because I remember, like, they, they, they had a whole automated update. Can I get, like, one of these? Ooh, I can actually get a Master Snare? Ooh! That seems really cool. I wonder how you can get a golden boy, if, if even possible to get a golden boy. Interesting. We have some warp tech, we have some decorations. Some curios. A slime stage, huh? I don't think we've ever gotten one of these. Cool. Um... Trying to think if there's anything else we should do right now. Let's get rid of these guys. Seem generally unneeded. You guys eat fruit, right? That's water. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, these guys have done enough eating. I'm, my stomach is starting to rumble. So I think I'm satisfied for the day. Actually, what's going on with these guys over and down here? Actually, you know what? This all being said, I wouldn't mind... One more little thing for the guys down here to pick up all these guys' plorts for the same for this like the same reason. That would involve making another market link. Let me see if it would be easy to make a market link. The new place? Ah, I don't think I'll do the the, the new place today. I've already done a lot of streaming today. I'm very hungry. Um, yeah, these are all Gooey's cousins, man. That's okay. I'll, I'll be, I'm just saying, man. I'm going to be doing a raid. So if you guys want to watch another stream, I'm about to be hitting you guys with another one. Won't be mine, but who knows? You might, get, you guys might like it. All right, Warp Tech. I don't really want a depot. I kind of want a Market Link. <gasps> I could buy another Market Link. I don't think it's dumb to buy another market link to automate those guys in there. I do have a teleport to the glass desert. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 
I like the idea. Raid Ninja. <laughs> nah, man, he doesn't need the viewership. You guys want a chill stream? You guys want me to raid like another chill guy? Like I could say, I could see if anyone's playing Slime Rancher right now, or like uh, like another various one of these kinds of games. Well, first of all, my drone, my little drone boy. Um, then a, let's put the let's put the the market thing right here. Market link. I love how even these guys are like ah! constantly happy. All right, now you. Dude, this one on his head. <laughs> Do a random raid. Oh, I forgot there are like there there is a the, the new random button on YouTube. Let's try that out. Let's let's do a complete random raid. See what we get. Um. Let's do all plorts. Outside plots. Yes. Destination being the port market. Activate. Let's see him go work. Yay! There he go. Can I? <gasps> Hold on. New goal. New goal. You can actually ride them. I was a non-believer. It's very tough and you do not move with them. But using my jetpack, I can I can try and make up the difference. Dude, hype. Also, I love these little guys. I just tried to melee him. I just tried to do like, like an Overwatch melee. Wait, hold on. Where's our little friend? Where's our little friend? Uh, Over here, right? Yeah, look, it's a bee. Boop. <laughs> Wait, what happens if I boop you? Nothing. Understood. Uh-oh. 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 Wait, why do I have this? Why do I have these? There's no point in, in, in the scarecrow thing being there. Why do I have those? That makes no sense. In fact, I think they're just spooking out my slimes. Hold on. I have enough money to replenish this plot. Let's just do this. And rebuy the things. Uh, without the, the scarecrow this time, or the uh, scare slime this time. There we go, buddy. Whoa, that's really cool to watch. Yeah, that's what freaks them out. I never understood what freaks them out. It's those guys. Deletus, Cletus. No cost to me if my slimes are happy. No cost to me. And these guys have scare slimes too. Why? There's no reason. This is where they have to eat. Oh no, what have I been putting these slimes through? No wonder they always looked freaked out. I never understood why. Hold on, I'm gonna raid in a second. Let me just make sure these boys are happy. I feel bad. I, I have to atone for my ways here. I don't care if I have to spend my last penny. I want my slimes to be happy. Thank you very much. They are good boys. There we go. Demolish plot. Garden. And then nutrient and sprinkler. And the miracle mix is the thing that just keeps them fine. That's okay. We don't need that. Oh god, got slime on that. Uh, bam. Perfect. I have atoned for my mistakes there, and I have fixed the issues that plague this area. Yeah, look how happy they are now. Oh man, that makes me happy. Perfect. And now Mr. Robot B will have plenty of things to pick up. And eventually sell. 
Man, that's cool. Actually, I, I could probably place another drone here to get maximum efficiency since there's two types of ports to pick up. But for now, it should be fine. Ah, this is cool, man. This is really cool. Who inspired you to do YouTube? That would be the YouTuber in the Littlewood. He used to do Minecraft things, now he does Fortnite things. Still pretty good. Not really my, my shtick, but you know what? If he's happy, then I'm happy. I hope he's doing good out there. He's actually gonna get married soon too, so you know what? Big grats on him. And with that, I'm very satisfied. Thank you all for watching. Tune next time for whatever I feel like doing. This has been a very fun stream today. I, I'm very satisfied. And actually, we can't end it just yet. We can't end it just yet. Because you see, we have a time-honored tradition in the Slime Rancher streams. I'm not sure if you heard of it. It's called basketball. We get 20 of these little pink slime boys. And we try and play a basketball game. All right, chat. Guess what number I'll get. Guess what number I'll get. One last basketball game in under day 100. Try and guess. Because here we go. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this game, by the way. I'm so bad. We actually might, might, might lose a couple people. I'm so bad. It's been so long. It's been so long. Actually, I think I can just do this. Hold on. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't cheat it. I can't cheat it. One last game to ring in the new year here. I can do a hover strat. But that's all I can do. And actually, we're about to hit we're about to hit the new year. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year, baby! Day 100 has been achieved. Who will get the first right pick of day 100? No more numbers. There we go, our little proud, a little proud boy. This guy right here. This specific pink slime. This specific pink slime. We'll get the honor of being the googly eye slime of the pack. Since they were the last slime scored on, on this uh, occasion, on this momentous day. And now let me get all of our little pink boys ready. They all had some happy food. Let's see. We got 15 of them. We got a few more to pick up here. We got 16. I actually think I had a shirt for uh, the Slime Rancher guys coming eventually. I don't know where it is. We got 18. We're missing one last one. They wander. They do wander. Um, I don't think he ended up going to the ocean. Sometimes they actually get stuck behind here. I've seen them go like everywhere, man. Whoopsie. Hmm. Phil, would you googly eyes onto a drone? No. I don't want them to have googly eyes for today. Maybe another day I will, but not today. Where's our last little boy? Hmm. I think they may have been set free into the into the slime ocean. That's okay. They'll come back one day as a new slime. Hmm. Too bad though. I was I like I like trying to keep the twenty intact. That's alright. We can get one more new slime and, and call it a day. Just so I don't forget for later. Oh, dude, look at this perfect efficiency. 
Look at that max efficiency, man. That's amazing. Yep. Little pink slime boy is gone. Gone into the chat. Or, or gone, gone into the chat. Gone into the, uh... Into the depths of the sea. He'll be back one day. Hello. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Swoop. There we go. Nah, there's no worry about him being a tar. That's not how tars work. There we go. Got all of our little boys back here. Perfect. All right. And with that. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, buddy. Thank you all for watching today's stream. This has been a really, really fun one. Now. I gotta figure. Oh, I got a new star mail. I'll read that another time. That's not for now. Man, look at this efficiency, baby. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. All I have to do is run like pretty much every day. Just like like from, from one to another. And just make sure we're all uh they're all still active and, and, and energized. Oh man, I'm gonna go to sleep like some of these guys are. Yo. Alright, well hey, thank you all for watching today's stream. Uh in the next episode. What will we be doing? Oof. Probably just figured out. Oh, dude, in the next episode, we gotta go to those Kukadabas. And see if we can unlock the new area. Because there's still a new slime type I haven't seen. The Quicksilver Slimes. I have not encountered yet. But yeah, man. Thank you all for watching. Tune next time for whatever I feel like doing. This will be the end of the Failable stream for today. And the end of the first year. Uh, the first in-game year, I'm considering it. The first in-game year of Slime Rancher. Cheers to a new year, baby! Because, man, has it been a fun one already. <laughs> For that big boy looming, of, looming over from up above. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, whatever I feel like doing. And I'll see you around, Slime Rancher world. But for you guys...